Hey, this is Enoch here from Business of Architecture, and this is the end of day two of the Architect Business Development Summit that I put on with my partners Richard Petrie and Eric Bobro. I'm going to spin around. There's Eric. We're kind of cleaning up the room here and just making sure we didn't forget anything. But something happened during this event that I want to share with you. It was really, really cool. So half the people that came here already knew me or Eric or Richard or what we do in Architects Marketing, and I would say probably about half of them were new to what we teach and what we do the kind of marketing that we teach in terms of how to get better clients and projects. And one of the things that we teach is that you as an architect need to be paid for your initial consultation and stop giving away free work, okay? When I go in to talk to my lawyer, he doesn't even ask me if, if, if he can charge me, okay? I go in there, I talk to him for half an hour, I get a bill in the mail for 300 bucks, and if I don't pay it, I get another letter, you know, uh, 30 days after that telling me that my invoice is overdue, and if I don't pay after that, I get a letter saying he's going to, you know, sue me. No, not really, but <laughs> there's no question that I'm going to pay my, my lawyer, right? So as architects, when we give away free design consultations, you know, clients want that, and if we just bow to that, it lowers our status, it decreases our income, and it actually decreases the potential for us to win projects. Let me give an example of what I mean, okay? So there's an architect here who's based in here in New York City. His name's Carlo. And he stood up during the second day and he said, you know what, something happened to me uh, this early this morning and I want to share it with you. You know, after what you guys were talking about, about charging for consultations, um, I had a project that I was pursuing and I had gotten an email from them and they said, you know what, you're the only unknown entity. We'd like you to do some substantial schematic design kind of work so we can sort of figure out and see you know what you have to offer right and he was normally he would have gone ahead and done that but after having come to day one of the summit he thought you know what I'm gonna try responding and saying that I charge so he said look we don't work that way in this office we like to do a proper diagnosis and instead of just rushing out there and doing some sort of schematic design instead what I can offer you is some sort of feasibility study and needs and options review where we figure out exactly what you need in your project. And it's going to be 4,000, well, what do you 40, say? 4,900 something. Yeah, some, some large figure, right? And just as he was about to sign off the email, and, and actually he didn't even get to explain what he was offering. He said he was just going to charge them 4,000 something dollars to do some a little bit of work instead of giving away for free. And he said that his six-month-old, he was in bed with his wife, and his six-month-old crawled across the computer and hit the enter button. <laughs> and sent the email. Sent the email off into the ether. And he's thinking, oh, that's it. I've lost the project. There's absolutely no way that I'm going to win it, right? And then he said later on he got an email back where the client actually confirmed that they wanted to proceed ahead. So just remember, if you think you can't do something, you can't. But if you believe you can, you can. The key to your success is right here. No, it's not in my ears. It's between your own ears. And that's my message for you today. So this is Enoch Sears and Eric Fabro. Take care. And charge for your work. Just do it.